So this is the first video recording that I'm using my new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I probably can't really even tell the difference between the S9 that I had and the S23 because the S9 was already pretty good by that generation. But anyways, it's pretty cool to have a new phone. I, I waited five years for this. I'm listening to the slight edge again because I need to remind myself that it's the small daily things that really build up to big results in the end. So I'm listening to that again during my walk now. I already listened to the whole thing once before. So today I'm going to return the Google Pixel 8 Pro and I hope to get my refund pretty soon. And I'm gonna make fried rice with my dad for lunch. So I have to buy some ingredients. We have loads of carrots because we have a huge bag of carrots from Costco. So going to use a lot of carrots. It's pretty much gonna be carrot fried rice. They both followed me back to my room. <laughs> So that was a successful fried rice that my dad and I made. We put in five huge carrots and a can of Spam, 10 eggs, although I think 12 would have been even better. Two bundles of green onions, although I think I want a lot more green onions, so about four bundles would probably be even better. That was a pretty healthy lunch, minus the Spam. Because I was listening to the slide edge this morning, I started my stream of consciousness writing again, so I, did my 20th entry, uh, 21st entry this, uh, just now actually. The slide edge also talks about reading a helpful book every single day, just a little bit. Well, he says 10 pages, but 10 pages is actually quite a lot. So even just a few pages every day, two to three weeks ago, I was reading almost every single day. So I should get back to it. I'm gonna get to reading right after I finish filming this. I returned, or at least I shipped the Google Pixel 8 phone back to Google. So hopefully I get my refund soon. My throat still does not feel good, but I slept almost 10 hours today. So it is not getting that much worse either. It's a good thing I tried to fall back asleep after I woke up at 6 a.m. and gave Tigger the cat some morning food that he always begs for. It took me a while to fall back asleep, but I was able to sleep a few more hours, well, more than a couple for sure. I haven't worked out in over a week now, so I will get back to that. And also playing the flute. It is kind of uncomfortable to play the flute while I have a sore throat, but I'll get back into flute. I'll get back into working out. And today I'm getting back into the stream of consciousness writing and reading. Mochi the dog has been begging all day, even after I give her all her food and all her treats and I let her out into the garden and she pees and she poos. She's still always begging. I think I've trained her to beg because whenever she begs, I give her something more usually. So not good, not good at all. I don't know why I didn't start wearing this earlier. My neck has been feeling pretty cold for a while now, especially just recently. So um, probably a good idea to keep it warm. My accountability partner, Niels, and I were talking this morning, having our daily call as usual. And he was telling me how he's kind of discouraged that the number of views on his videos that he's posting consistently are pretty low. And I completely understand how he feels because the views on my videos are pretty damn low too. My typical video gets anywhere between 20 to 50 views usually. But as I told him, we gotta remind ourselves that we started pretty recently. Like for me, daily uploads just a few weeks ago and for him, consistent uploads a few months ago. And then I was rereading this book, Transurfing in 78 Days. And on page 125, it says, on the path to your goal, things won't go as you expect, or it might be that nothing happens at all. Don't let that discourage you. No matter how events unfold, keep your course in a direct line with your goal. Let this be your motto. I don't want, and I don't hope, I intend. And I intend to make money making videos. I don't know how long that'll take. For a lot of big creators, like even Mr. Beast or MKBHD, they created videos for years before they gained significant traction. So I gotta remind myself and Niels that we're playing the infinite game. We're playing because we wanna play. We're not playing just to win. We're playing for the fun of playing. And when you play the infinite game, I don't think you can lose. So let's keep playing. I don't think it'll take me years like Mr. Beast and MKBHD 
because if you look at their old videos, they are pretty bad, but I don't think mine are that bad. So I don't think it'll take years. I think it'll take much less time than them. I'm curious to see what my progress will be in one year. So end of 2024, I guess. By the way, I made these videos. I made three, hi me in one year, hi me in three years, hi me in five years. And the goals, that I set for myself in those videos are pretty ambitious. So we'll see how far I stack up against those expectations when they get posted according to schedule. I do want to read some more before I go to sleep. It's 7.30 p.m. right now. I either will read Letting Go or Reality Transurfing, but I wanna post this video first so that I don't have to stay up late posting it. My goal tonight is to be in bed by 10 p.m. I think that's especially important when my body's not doing so well. Today, while I was walking, listening to the slide edge, I still didn't want to walk very far. I just kept thinking about turning back and just cutting the walk short, but I'm glad I pushed myself through to keep going and go to the end of the course. So here's my step counter for the day. So I got my walk walking in, got some reading done, I did my stream of consciousness writing. I also want to get back into my affirmation writing. Time to slowly pick up the things that I've dropped over the past week and get back into them regularly. 1% better every day, baby.